Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. It's Monica from Crafting with Queen Lady, and I hope you have an absolutely fabulous day. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this quick and beautiful slimline floral hacks card using a free kit from Simply Cards and Papercraft issue 226. In the magazine you can also find three of my Christmas makes and if you want to know how to make these cards, the link is in the top right corner, so I hope that will inspire you to create something unusual. And the magazine comes with beautiful slimline spring florals, stamp set collection, and it also has one more free stamp. And that's exactly what we're going to use for today's project. First, I'm going to use watercolor fillings, paper pad, and I created my background panel. As you can see, this is very colorful. And now I decided to use card making magic, perfect panels, and lovely layers collection. And using one die, I'm going to die cut it four times from. 300 GSM card and that will give me my slimline element and here you can decide how big you want your slimline card to be it doesn't have to be exactly the same size as I do here because you can make your card narrower wider whichever way you want and now I'm going to assemble all those panels together and as usual I use my liquid glue magic glue because you do have time to maneuver all those elements and it is dry clear so it is perfect for any card making projects. And now you have to decide which way you want your card to be, vertical or horizontal. Now it is time to stamp all our beautiful floral images. And for this card, I decided to use heat embossing with gold embossing powder. And all the names of the products are linked in the description down below. So if you want to check them, please feel free to do it. And as you can see, these stamps come in variety of beautiful shapes and sizes, so they are perfect for any makes. And for this card, I decided to use a sentiment, sending smiles, for a very special lady um, who doesn't work with me at the moment, and I think she needs a little bit of encouragement. Now I'm going to use my anti-static bag, and I'm using a scrap piece of 300 GSM card, because I don't wa always want to start a new card, I can use whatever I've got, and this way you do save your card. And then I'm going to use Versamark ink, which is clear, transparent, and it is usually very tricky to see where you stamp, and sometimes you can stamp over one of the other images and that's exactly what's happened here but to be honest I'm not worried because I can stamp a few more flowers because I still do have that space and I really like gold embossing powder because it really gives you that beautiful shine and interest to your project and I wonder have you ever used gold embossing powder with florals if you have please let me know what card did you make did you use it for birthday occasion or maybe you created a hello card or sending smiles i would really like to know now to heat set my embossing powder i heat set my tool for about 10 to 15 seconds first before moving on to the card and now i'm going to stamp a few more images and you know the process is exactly the same so i'm going to use versamark ink and then sprinkle that beautiful embossing powder i wonder what is your favorite embossing powder for floral images please let me know as you can see i'm using scrap piece of card uh, just to get rid of the excess of embossing powder because we want that embossing powder to sell say for later projects off camera i also stamped three leaves However, I'm not going to use it for today's project. And to color in all my beautiful florals, I decided to use zig markers because they will give me that beautiful watercolor effect. And what's really good about them, they blend beautifully and easily. And that's exactly what you want. As you can see, I blend all my colors with a wet paintbrush. And I have to tell you that if you have ever used aqua markers or zig markers, the effect is absolutely stunning. And I really encourage you to do it with heat embossing because that is even easier because you don't go over the outline. So it's absolutely amazing and easy to do. Now I'm going to add a few different greens to my leaves and I have to tell you guys, if you've never ever used that technique, please do it because you really get that beautiful watercolor effect. And when this is finished, I'm going to... 
fussy cut all those elements and actually it was so much easier than I thought especially with those beautiful flowers with the leaves it was a little bit more challenging but yes you can do it just be patient and trust me it is worth the time now it is time to stamp our sentiment and I decided to use sending smiles across the miles it is so cool and the font is literally gorgeous I just couldn't resist it is so elegant and beautiful and yes again I'm going to use gold embossing powder so it actually matches all those beautiful florals and I really encourage you to do the same to use the same embossing powder or ink for your sentiments and images to give my card even more interest I decided to make the sentiment slightly smaller and then using my Versamarker ink and a little bit of gold embossing powder we're going to add that beautiful shine to all the edges it is super quick and easy and if you haven't used that technique I really encourage you to do it super quick easy however just be careful because you don't want to burn your fingers so I use my pokey tool so you can use either tweezers, pokey tool or something else because this sentiment it is really really small and it, otherwise it will be really tricky and I really like how it turned out and how this sentiment actually matches the florals if you have any excess of the powder on your sentiment or on florals or any other images just use a dry paintbrush to get rid of all those tiny sparkles as usual I heat set my tool for around 10 to 15 seconds before putting it on a card and the shine is absolutely gorgeous now I'm going to add a little bit more dimension to my sentiment and to do it I'm going to use double-sided foam adhesive and yes now it will be the trickiest part of every single card making project you have to decide how to put the elements together now I'm going to create a base using my scoreboard and I'm going to score my panel at eight and a half centimeter however as I said before you can decide on the size of your slimline card it can be narrower shorter whichever you want because there are not really set special measurements for slimline cards so you can do whatever you want when this is ready and I do encourage you to do a dry run with all your elements before you start assembling them and it will really make a difference in your project I couldn't decide where to put my sentiment first I thought maybe in the middle and then maybe in one of the corners so as you can see it is always the best idea to start with your largest elements first and then put the sentiment and all the other elements and this way you can either have this composition or you can actually do it in corners in opposite corners and that will be super cool as well I wonder have you ever created a sending smiles card for someone if you did please let me know did you use florals or maybe something else and it wouldn't be me if I didn't add any gems so here they are I just couldn't resist now the cut is finished please let me know what do you think about this i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and on saturday i will have a very very special video for you so stay tuned for that have a wonderful day and happy crafting see you in my next video bye for now